Okay, are you ready, my dear? Ready. Let's do this. And how many units, Angelica, is this customer gonna take on her face? She's gonna take about 15, but typically, this is just a touch up for her. Touch up, um, okay. She usually does about 25 units. And what's the low to high range for most of your consumers coming in for Botox, would you say? Um, usually, like, 40, 45, it's dose dependent. So okay. of course the more we put, the less you move. Okay, awesome. Yeah. And then now I'm gonna do her forehead. So lift up, honey, relax. One, two, three, poke. And as a provider, as a doctor or nurse, how do you determine how many relax. units a customer needs, Angelica? Relax, it depends how um, strong their muscles are. Okay. And then how big their forehead is. Like is that. there more relax. of a formula or is it just an eyeballing that the, the, the um, injectors use? Um, it's. It's a, usually it's two units each. Um, each area. Each area. Okay. And then it depends how many you know how much movement they have. Okay. Um, some people do like ten units. Some people in the frontalis do fourteen. I have a big forehead, so I do about like sixteen. You've got a lovely forehead, darling. Yeah. So That's do, do yeah. I heard um, I Relax. heard that gentlemen need more than girls. Is that true? That is true. So what's the most units you've ever given to one person in a in a setting? One person? One individual. How much Botox? Oh gosh, it was like eighty-five. Wow. Uh, but I also did her plasma bands as well. What, what's the plasma bands? Where's that? It's these little things. So we could do Botox in the neck. Yeah. Wow. It okay. looks really pretty. Awesome. So you've yeah. done which area so far now? Um, uh, Glabella and Frontalis. So you've done the forehead and the the elevens are the, the ones you call the it. One. Yeah. So now and we're doing the crow's feet. Crow, smile cheesy. Okay. Feet. Relax. One, two, three, poke. And what would you say is the average dollar amount that a client spends with you when they come in for a Botox treatment, would you say? What's the norm? 500, 600. And Sophia, how would you say this feels, Sophia? If you had to explain it to somebody who's never had a Botox before, or fillers before, how, how would you describe this? There's just a little prick from the needle. It doesn't hurt. Okay. Um, and you can sort of hear the sound of the needle going into the skin, but that's it. Right, right, but no crunchy. big deal at all, huh? No. A little no. crunchiness, kind of? Yeah. I've heard people say that before. Why, why is that crunchiness sound, Angelica? Um, sometimes when you hit the bone, um, and other times is their skin is just so dehydrated. So I would say to her, because she was pretty crunchy, uh -huh. to make sure she drinks lots of water.